Uh, hi everyone, I'm Stan from Eagle Vision. I'm here with John Glossop from Glossop Town Planning and we're talking about some of the changes that are coming through for uh, design uh, guidelines and standards in Victoria that have been recently introduced. Um, John is a town planner with over 20 years of experience in the planning space as well as being a sessional member at the planning panels of Victoria and I want to talk about the Better Apartment Design Standards. Uh, that's another I guess initiative that has come through and is now going to apply to all the residential apartments. So John, I guess what were the reasons for them being introduced? Mm. Thanks Dan, thanks for getting me in. Um, the, the introduction of the Better Apartment Design Standards to planning schemes in Victoria is a recent change to the planning schemes and it was introduced by the government on two fronts. One, they recognised that there was a growing number of Victorians living in apartments and proposed to be living in apartments in the future. And there was a, a view amongst some that the quality of internal amenity provided by apartments was uh, um, um, suboptimal and needed to be improved. Right, and so what sort of issues, I guess, are these standards going to cover? There's 16 new standards that have been uh, introduced by the state government, and they cover issues like building setback, um, functional layout, communal open space, solar access to communal open space, uh, windows and storage. Okay, fair enough. And so as a bit of an example for our viewers, uh, could you take one of them and talk a little bit more about it? Yeah, one of the, the changes I think that's um, uh, going to have an impact on the way apartments are laid out is uh, uh, standard D24, which covers uh, functional layout. And uh, one of the requirements of that standard, Stan, mm. is that uh, main bedrooms now need to have dimensions of 3 metres by 3.4 metres, and that's uh, net of uh, wardrobe space. Right, okay. So there's now uh, also a requirement for uh, other bedrooms in an apartment uh, in circumstances where there's two or more bedrooms, for those smaller bedrooms to be 3 metres by 3 metres, and again right. for that dimension to be net of wardrobe space. Okay, so no longer 2.9 metres with some of this. <laughs> well, that's a good question, Stan, and of course uh, it's important to note that these standards aren't mandatory requirements. There right. is the ability to vary those standards, provided mm -hmm. the overall objective associated with that requirement is met. Okay, and so are these standards that are now coming through, as you say, they're not mandatory, that's something that a development should aspire to, essentially, is that right? Yeah, the, uh, the way the planning scheme has been drafted for the new Better Apartment Standards is to establish an objective which sets out the overall uh, outcome to be achieved in the completed development yep. and then they're complemented with their own standard and the standard is the means by which the objective is met. But it's an important qualification to note that just uh, you can meet the objective in other uh, ways Right. than just meeting the standard but nevertheless that alternate design solution as it's called in the planning scheme needs to be acceptable to the local council or the VCAT on appeal. Yeah fair enough and when do these standards come into play? They're in place now Stan so right. uh, any uh, developer or permit applicant that's seeking to lodge a planning permit application for an apartment development in Victoria will need to uh, have regard Comply to these that. standards and the councils will be assessing those applications against the standards. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Um, look, I guess we just wanted to cover some of the basics around this. Uh, the entire summary of the standards will be available for download at the link below. Um, thank you again for watching and thanks John for your time. Thanks Dan, anytime.